say, a light reassociation. Uh, it's going to be bringing back the information that's coded on the streams of energy that constitute the entirety of the universal structure back into the, the locality of your own knowing right here and right now in every part that seems to be separated. So you're going to bring it back in together and that that light reassociation, that new information coming back into your awareness is going to transfigure your body. It's going to, it's going to change the atomic structure of your body. At the moment, if you look at the structure of an atom, I've said this a few times, you're going to find that uh, you see a proton there, uh, electrons and neutrons and other subatomic particles racing around uh, an axis of an atom. And uh, that atom, in actual fact, is supported by a, a far greater integrity of a network, of a lattice, of an encryption code, a supporting uh, energy field that actually supports the matter manifestation that we see as uh, an atom in a state of decay. Every atom has a half-life, and it's in a state of decay, and we go back to the grave time and time again. We go back to the grave time and time again because we cannot generate enough quanta from our outer fields of dimensionalized form, higher dimensional frequency bands of union. We cannot muster enough strength within the core atomic structure of the cellular body to overcome the burden of decay. And so who's going to free us from this body of death? Well, Jesus Christ. He, he has uh, gathered everything into himself. It says, when the time was right, he gathered everything unto himself. In other words, he received us all, the constituent members, all of us, back into himself. Because in the beginning, we all are the constituent members of everything that is before we fell away from the knowledge of the truth. And so I think Jesus must have realized that... Uh, to, to know God would be to know all of the members in the sun, all of the members in the sonship, all of those constituent parts that are the entire offspring of wholeness. And so there seems to be many parts of us scattered through space and time, but we can ingather them right here and now. And if your eye be single, your whole body will be filled with light. The father of all lights would, would let you bring all of the lights back into yourself as a reconstitution of your anatomy. And uh, you would gather the multi-dimensional structure uh, which would bring about your resurrection from the dead. And so it's the substance of your atomic structure that's in a state of decay and it cannot generate enough quanta in itself through the natural generation cycles that would be inherent within the return to God. So we had a falling away, which was, um, you know, we say, you know, through a course of miracles, you know, we wanted to be separate from God. Well, what was the reason for that? Maybe we wanted to discover um, something ourselves as well and then return to God with, you know, with the experiences that we gleaned along the way. And there may have been a natural process for that, uh, falling away and returning unto God and building the structure of our own temple, our own light body, our own vehicle, to, to be able to you know, transcend space and time and have every experience we want under the control of our own mind. And so obviously at the moment we're not controlling our mind because our mind is controlled by many different factions, many different uh, ideas that come into us from what appears to be outside of us. We seem to be influenced through many space-time continuums and uh, many locations and many associations. We seem to be influenced from many different separated parts of creation, all, all of these parts adding to the information that we hold in our mind concerning separation. So if we're going to bring a light reassociation uh, back into our own awareness, it's going to require the reconstitution of the atomic structure, which is really all the outer dimensional fields of our body form or our, our universal template. So it's, it's going to require, uh, as far as I can see, um, to take your body up rather than lay it down. See, Jesus took his body up. He actually brought the light reassociation within himself Father, you know, lifted him up or re brought, the, brought the whole picture into his mind because he defended himself not. He said, no, this is not me. This body that you see here in space and time, if I'm to represent the Son of God in this earth, if I'm here to bear witness to truth and I'm in a body of decay, obviously this body of decay, separated from every other thing, is not the Son of God. But the Father had the picture of the Son in his mind and so Jesus let that mind be in him and the light reassociation occurred and he transcended the limitations of this earth and separation 
and his body returned to God. It went back to a, a, a regenerative light, transfigurative process where uh, all the particles brought all of their multi-dimensional structures back into the atomic form and he disappeared from here. And so for us to uh, disappear from here and never be seen again by the human mind, the human mind being the alienated mind, uh, see, the alienated mind, when Jesus disappeared, they couldn't see him. Well, where, where is he? And uh, no one could see him, but of course Jesus is still here, but we can't see him with the with the human mind which projects illusions. But if we use the mind of Christ, we can see Jesus, we can see all saints in light, we can see all of those paths that are ascended, all of those whole paths. And so here we are, we're uh, uh, to then gather every member of creation back into our own divine reformulation. We accept every other part as members of ourself and uh, to in gather. And so this this becomes the objective. How do, how do we do it? Well, you know, I've seen a lot of people uh, following spiritual paths and they still lay the body down. In short, you know, the, the, the spiritual part of us can't die. It can become sort of lost in time cycles. It can be trapped in a, in a say for example around this earth you have the magnetosphere uh, and as a species on the earth that we keep on reincarnating in the field of separation that part of our spirit would continue to remain within this uh, magnetosphere of this earth and not return to higher dimensions because it's, it's, it's always attracted back to those parts of the atoms that went back to dust it's always attracted back to those parts of uh, programming that are associated with space and time and this world so you know, to, to actually overcome the world, to actually to actually uh, bring the light reassociation back in, and through forgiveness, through true creation, through yeah. true processes, uh, transcend the limitations of this world. It's going to require uh, some understanding of the mechanism or the structure of consciousness to bring those uh, alignments back into our awareness, to bring those life-giving flows back into our awareness, because if we keep on laying the body down from dust to dust, you see in the Bible from they came from dust and they went back to dust and uh, I can remember in Psalm I think it was Psalm, um, oh, Psalm 82 or something or other it says um, know ye not that ye are gods and all of you sons of the most high but uh, you shall perish as grass you shall die as princes in other words if you don't know that you are the sons of God if you don't know that you'll just keep dying time and time again and you'll let your body go back to dust thinking that it's a natural process of life and death but we've learned now through A Course in Miracles that you know there is no death even Jesus has abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel well the gospel would be I am Christ as God said I am the Son of God and everything is given unto me I've denied it for long enough really you know I've denied that everything's been given to me but I can remember that everything already has been given to me before time, before I lost my mind. And I can remember the true mind. And there must be a process by which I can bring this light reassociation back into myself. And uh, that's where I was talking about multidimensional structures and uh, what consciousness is, according to the teachings I've been pursuing uh, recently. It's a thing called Kathara. It means light, sound, one. In other words, there's one source of all life everywhere. It does come into dimensionalized form, into density, into time and space matrices. It has an expression. Uh, consciousness would be where mind uh, splits into two parts, where one part is conscious of another, or one part is conscious of the other part that just came forth. So consciousness would be what happens after the oneness of mind. Mind itself is the source of expression but mind itself needs something to express through to have a relationship with itself and so you can have true relationships where uh, there are true perpetual motion life flows of full communication you can also have uh, communication where there is a limit to the communication where there is a disassociation from God's source and there appears to be just polarity without that extra link up to God's mind where you're not sharing the thoughts with God, but you're, you're creating thoughts of your own and sharing alienated thoughts. 
those thoughts will still perpetuate themselves in the in the matrices of expression. They were originally God consciousness particles, but they just lost their continuity and flow back uh, to God's source.